Hey guys, it's Pauline. I have a couple of hauls to um, share. So I did, I went back to Tuesday morning. Um, it is right next to where my son likes to uh, go and play basketball. So that was just my excuse to go. So I did find that um, they got a few more things in. So I thought I would share it what they have so i picked up this and they have a lot of these i didn't pick up all of them i didn't even pick up one from all of them these were just the ones that i liked um there were a lot of different ones like uh there was one, one with the zoo and then there was a school and then there was um several for christmas and stuff like that but these are the ones that I picked up. We went to the zoo recently, so I thought that would come in handy. And then this one, it's more traditional Christmas, but I like I like this one. It's brighter. I don't really care for the dark green uh, traditional Christmas, but I, and I, I thought this was really cute. This kind of retro um, school. And then... So this is the ephemera pack, and then this is frames and tags. So they are a little bit different. And like this one, I like the bright reds and the bright greens. Not really a big fan of the uh, dark red and the dark greens. But I thought that was cute. So I picked those up. Alrighty, and then... Um, even though this is gift tags, I usually pick up some of these every year because I like using these in um, December daily and stuff. So I thought this was a pretty um, Santa. I like this Santa. And then you get the twine with it and stuff like that. Well, we can see what the gift tags look like. And then this one, I thought these were really, really pretty. And so I picked these up. And then I wanted to try these. Uh, these look like passport size. But um, so I picked these up. I thought these were pretty. So let's see. What they have on the inside. What kind of papers are they? I mean, this is this cube. If you want to look that up. Alright. So you get three of them in there. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that purple one. It's really pretty. Alright. So it's lined. Okay, and they're just uh, regular paper. There's not anything special about them. All right, and so I'll pick that up. Let's see. And then, now, if you're in the dies, they have a ton of dies. Some of them have stamps to go with them, especially the Christmas ones. I'm thinking that some of these are from last year, but I don't know. And they have a lot of art supplies, a lot, like a lot of markers and paints and stuff like that. But I thought this one was cute, so I picked this up. And then they have quite a few Bow Bunny. I don't usually go for Bow Bunny too much, but I like this one. So I thought these were uh, really neat, so I picked those up. And then... They had this one. This doesn't go with anything that I have, but I thought this one was really pretty. It had a couple of these. I only picked up one. But, and they're double-sided. I like it a lot. I thought it was really pretty. Isn't that pretty? And 
And look at the gifts like that. And then the coffee cups or hot chocolate, whatever. That's pretty. Really cute. All right. And then garden party. You probably already seen garden party, but um, let's refresh our memories on it. And this week, well, yesterday, I ordered on Joann's because they had a $1.99 shipping plus 25% off. But, you know, it's not going to go on the, uh, the door busters. But I used it to get some Maggie Holmes from Joann's. And um, I got a pretty good deal. And with the $1.99 shipping, that was worth it. They have a lot of their um Maggie Holmes. It's it's they don't have a big selection. And I forget which which um collection it is. I wanna say no, I don't know. I I forget which collection it is, but it's already on sale and then you get a dollar ninety nine shipping. So uh they had three of these I picked up two. All right, and then I stood there for like 10 minutes trying to figure out which one of these cookie cutters I was going to get because I'm not going to decorate the top of them or anything. So I wanted the ones that once you use just the cookie cutter, you can tell what it's supposed to be. So I stood there and stood there and I finally come up with this one because they had different ones. And so this is $3.99. All right, and then this one, I thought this was interesting. This is uh, butterscotch and caramel. I don't know what that's going to taste like. It sounds super, oops, I'm out of frame. It sounds super sweet, but I thought I'd try it. And it was $5.99. So I thought I'd share that. All right, and then I have... Uh, couple of orders to come in and this is these are like very small they're probably like inks and uh, a pen or two or something so let's look I only I only cut the box open I didn't look in it all right yeah this is my ink so I bought a fountain pen with a pilot and then I think when I when I picked up the fountain pen, it seemed like this was the ink that they suggested go with it. I'm not gonna try to ink it up here because it would be my first time inking up a a fountain pen, so it would probably be a gigantic mess. But I thought that I would share that with you. So hmm green black oh okay so it's it's the examples that they had online was it, it looked kind of like an ombre look and so that's that and i got that to go with this one all right and then let's see let's see what we got here Right. Oh, so the uh, the FedEx carrier sent my fountain pen back, so I ordered it again. And this time it got here. But I wanted to try this one. Hmm. I hope that's not a bad sign. And it came. I hope that's okay. Hmm. All right, we'll see. So I bought the roller pen that goes to this and this fountain pen. And at first, I was really impressed with the roller pen. It, it, it writes really well and all that kind of stuff. It was so smooth. But then I've been using it and it skips a lot. 
it might have been the paper I was using. I don't know. But I'll let y'all know if I, if I still continue to like it. But I thought that I would try this one too. It's the Lamy Safari Fountain Pen. It's the one that they say it's the beginner's pen. All right. And then... And then we got a Safari. Is it the converter? I don't know. Oh, I got it in a different color. Yeah, this is the rollerball pin. Because I liked it so much, I was like, I want another one of these. And now I find out that it skips. But anyway, we'll, we'll see. I guess I went pin crazy, huh? Let's see. Alright, so these, these other ones are plastic bodies. Both of these are plastic. And then this is a metal one. I wanted to, I wanted to see if I liked it. So this is the Safari pin. Alright. And then... Let's see what this is. Yeah, I think this is a metal body too. So these were different prices and all that. that and I think one of these is fine and the other one is medium if I remember right which is why I wanted to try different ones all right so that is all I had to share today guys I will talk to you later bye